Bailey. And the rebound finally controlled by Brewer with 15 seconds to go, and it may have saved a 20-point Flash's win here tonight. Down out of seven seconds, Chris Brewer is dribbling it out on the high right side. Two seconds, and the Flashes have win number four. The final score of this one, Kent State 83, Moorhead State 63. Golden Flash have three. Perini, one of those players with, here's a lot, the man, she'll stick it and be fouled. He'll bounce it down tight to the baseline. Knock free away from Purcell, and Kent State comes out of there with it. Another lob. He did it again! Mans! They have done it again! And they're going crazy at the Max Center. A mob scene at center court. Justin Mans. Maybe a coming out party. This that game. That was when the flashes were at the Wolstein Center in a random game against Urbana that there weren't a lot of people at, and the Kent State Golden Flashes were in search of energy. Another one! Oh, how about this? It's Mans again! Oh man, we was just out there having fun, but at the same time just playing hard. Um, you know, we, we know Justin Mans is a He's an enforcer down low, and you throw it up anywhere by the rim, he's going to go get it. I can say we practice it a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, just, I was just so focused in the game. I was just trying to get the lead up, get my team to it, crowd into it, get the momentum going. So I really didn't care who was scoring. I mean, pretty much what he said, just, you just throw it up, I'm just go get it. Are you thinking at all what you want to do with it? Huh? Are you thinking at all how you want to dunk it? I mean, not really. <coughs> I just want to get the ball in the hole. That's all. The second one looked like it was a quite a ways from the rim. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a ways, but. <laughs> what was your favorite? Um, the second one, the and one. That had to be the uh, most favorite one for me. After, after that, I mean, the crowd just really got into it, so then that would boost the team. That's what made us really play harder, push lead up even more, so. Evans triggers a deep three and hits. Line extended, whips it into the hands of Evans. Outside it goes, Holt, left wing triple. Got it! <laughs> On the left, into the corner, Brewer. We're inside of six minutes. Brewer with a great move to the... Corner it goes, Hill lost it. Perini grabs it at the blue line. Line, lane, he'll lay it up and in. But it's been a, it's, I've been waiting to see him play that way. And to me, the best thing that he did, and you know, you may not notice it, you may notice it, was there was a chance that he had, he short, caught, caught the ball in the short corner. And uh, a week ago, he would have shot that jump shot. And he certainly was entitled to at that time. He had made three or four shots in a row. And uh, he certainly could have, and it's a shot that he could make. But instead of shooting it, he you know, had a skip pass for a three, and Randall hit the three. And I think in his mind, knowing that he needs to be a finisher, a rebounder, a run the floor guy, and look at how good you can be when you do that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a sign of progress. I'm, I'm glad to see what he did. But I'm, I'm going to add also, and if they, if somebody puts this and he ends up watching, I won't, like now I'm expecting this more often. Like I'm not expecting zero and zero. You know, like when you do this, part of that is okay, okay. Well, you got 18 and seven. Well, shoot, now coach, he's not going to be real happy when you go zero and zero. Like that's part of being a senior and growing up. Well, what can you expect out of the The way he played was different than the way he had been playing, and that to me sometimes the stats come because of how you play and he was being aggressive, which is what I wanted. As we hit the 12-minute mark of the first half. Carlton Guyton, left-hand dribble, trying to clear space against Holden. Now he'll dribble to the near side. Coming upon 15 seconds to shoot on the 35. Good pass to Green, double team. He is quickly surrounded on the block. Feeds Mans, who scores! 
Throws to the free throw line and Chavis, he'll pull up from the right side, missed it. Knocked in the air a couple of times, put on the floor. Diving down there is Ferguson and a travel is called on Ferguson who has Brewer and Holt on top of him. The ball leading by four. Green for the first time tonight. Break. ...to all of these guys is when you're open, shoot. Try to play inside out. Try to play the right way. And to me, 22 assists on 28 baskets is the story tonight. You know, like 22 ba 28 baskets, 22 assists. That to me is the story, is that we played the right way tonight. And when you play the right way, more times than not, good things happen. Sometimes you miss shots, but you know what? It, it's, it's funny how when you dive on the floor for a loose ball, every once in a while one falls into your hands and you get a layup because of it. When you don't dive, they, they can't fall into your hands. So uh, I, I'm proud of all of them. I, I, I want to make sure, and you know, whatever written is written, but you know, I'm especially proud of Justin Green because he took two shots. He's the player of the year, and there was nobody more happy for his teammates than him, which I think tells you more about Justin than it does about anything else because that's not easy to do. And uh, if he continues to do those things, it's going to pay off for him as well. Holt pulls up and hits a three. Into the front court, Guyton, open three is up. Good. And the flashes into the right wing corner. Pass is a Chris Evans three that is missed. Mans the rebound and the does a late first half surge. Await the flashes. It may start with a steal. Here's Randall Holt on along the left side. Down to Mans. He'll stuff it with one hand. Um <clears throat> yeah, that definitely was the most complete game. Um we had a lot of assists tonight. A lot of our baskets were assisted, so we were definitely playing for each other and um just looking for a teammate to get some get get a teammate going offensively or defensively, regardless of which one it was. We just um we played for for each other tonight. You talked about kind of get, it took you a while even to just take your first shot. Mm -hmm. Well, um <clears throat> Moorhead State plays a zone the whole game, so um we just I, I was trying to hunt shots down in the first half and I just didn't want to force anything, you know, just let the game come to me. Um yeah, early in the second half. My teammates found me on a couple of um, possessions and I knocked down a shot. And that's just um, us playing for each other and just just, just knowing where I'm going to be at, the, um, at that certain point of time. And they just find me and I, and I shoot it with confidence.